I'm Nadine Shaw. I'm a musician. I uh, recently completed my third album and it was called Holiday Destination and it focused on mainly it was it was a response to a kind of a global rise in nationalism and then a decline in empathy. I think one of my main interests about speaking uh, about poverty in the way that poverty is spoken about is that I think there's this, there's, there's this myth that I want to I just I want to get rid of. It's just it's mad. I keep hearing it being getting bandied about this phrase that if you know if one is to work, the harder you work, the more successful you'll be, and it's just it's just not true. And you know I'm, I know many people. And I've met many people you know who unfortunately work crazy hours, you know, 18 hour days and they're paid pennies, they're really paid hardly anything compared to CEOs or whoever else who are, you know, doing eight hour days or less. And I think that as a result of this kind of phrase, you know, the harder you work, the more successful you'll be, you know, if, and if you're not, if you're then not successful, it's then the kind of connotations are that you're lazy or that you're stupid, whereas in fact it's just, it's circumstance. I mean, because what, what we want in society for everyone, for a pauper or a king, you know, for everybody, you want the same level of healthcare available for free. You want the same level of education available to everybody for free. And the part of our government's job is to ensure that that happens and to make sure that they are taking care of the most vulnerable people in society who don't have access to those things. There was, for a long time, I didn't think that, I don't know, especially in the current climate, in the kind of industry that I'm existing in at the minute, I was thinking that, you know, musicians can't make a change, artists can't make a change, what can they do? But because, you know, I, I made one political album last year and, and the response to it has been so, so beautiful. And I, I'm very aware that I exist within an echo chamber of sorts that I'm played on this radio station, people who read this newspaper listen to me, but I'm hearing the message spread and I'm then being invited into schools talking to kids about my journey, about possibilities of their way in. I'm now also representative of musicians, and also people from the North East speaking out for them, giving a voice to them in Parliament. I'm a, I'm a really great believer. Or, I mean, I don't think I'm just, I mean, for a while I thought I was maybe just a romantic, but I am a great believer in one person or a small group of people making a difference. So I do believe that artists can, you know, including musicians, we, we can make a difference and we have this platform and we're so lucky in that we have, we're, we are able to talk to thousands of people and I think it would be, I think it would be a really, I think it would be a real shame if we didn't use it properly because part of our job is documenting the times that we live in. Well, we, one thing that I'm finding happening a lot recently from doing workshops with lots of young kids and spending so much time with like know 12 to 17 year olds it's like you know I, I know you get a lot of us complaining about social media over and over and over again but what I'm seeing happening with this uh, younger generation is that you know they for the first time ever they're now privy to because of Instagram mainly and vlogging they're so privy to other people's lives so and a lot of those vloggers and a lot of those Instagrammers come from really affluent backgrounds so it's all this aspirational living and it's the first time ever these kids would have ever really seen that and I think there is this massive disconnect there where they can see it and but they have no access to it whatsoever and find that pretty damaging but I'm also hoping that as a response to that I want them to start asking questions and saying well why can't I have that why can I not be that you know and I'm not saying these people are great people but why why are they able to have time off work you know why are they able to travel the world why are they able to study at this certain place or have this particular job and I hopefully I'm, I'm hoping that these kids are then going to start either making music about it or start speaking out about it there's so many kids that I've been working with I live in an area I live in Tottenham in northeast London and I've been working predominantly there with lots of um, kind of youth groups there and the kids are amazing really talented musicians and they're definitely aware of the fact that of the impact that poverty is having on their parents and that it's having on them and that it will have on their future I think that I think that younger people are now a lot more active and engaged because they're so aware of their position and I think that they're starting to realize the power that they can have also